Welcome to a tutorial for Shortfuts. Shortfuts is a simple Chrome extension built for the FIFA Ultimate Team web app, whose main purpose is to add keyboard shortcuts to uh, common actions that you would take on the web app. Uh, it's a free extension that you could uh, download from the Chrome web store. Here's what the page looks like. And uh, I'll be sure to include a link in the description for those of you who are interested uh, in that. All right. Before we actually jump into uh, using shortcuts, let's take a quick look through the extension itself. Uh, and we'll go over some of the stuff that's available. Um, you'll see a menu here that you can do a variety of things. Uh, the main two things that people are interested in are typically are the shortcuts and the settings. Uh, let's take a look at the shortcuts first. Um, on this page of the extension, you basically can see all of the uh, actions that are possible to attach a keyboard shortcut to. Uh, we can kind of scroll through here. There's a lot of actions that have been added through the years. You can almost find about anything you want to. Uh, there's also a quick filter menu up here if you'd like to kind of figure out a subset of the settings, uh, the, excuse me, the shortcuts, and it'll be easier to find. And when you come through here, you um, can just assign what key you'd like to use. Um, keyboard shortcuts do have to be unique, uh, so if you try to override the same thing, you will get an error. Uh, you are able to add uh, keyboard modifiers to it if you'd like. So uh, in this case here, quick sell a card would be Q, but if I wanted to quick sell all the cards in the view, um, I can do a shift Q, for example. And I'll go ahead and save that. Uh, so yeah, there's plenty of stuff that you can do in the web app. There's also uh, a few app-specific things. Uh, displaying pricing data is one of those examples. Um, we get this data through a uh, partnership with Foot Alert, uh, so you can definitely check them out as well. Go ahead and save that. Uh, there's a different variety of things you can do. Um, there's also some things that are extension-specific, uh, like a tax calculator. You can show that and uh, some loading, some sniping filters that you may save previously. So yeah, so this is pretty straightforward. There's an action, there's a key, you save it, and then you press those keys to do those actions. Okay, so we've gone over the shortcuts already. The, uh, the next part of the application we can uh, take a peek at are the settings that are available uh, that Shortcuts provides for the web app. Uh, this is a good time to mention that uh, these settings are gated by a uh, monthly uh, or annual membership to something called Shortfoots Premium. Uh, Shortfoots Premium is super relatively cheap. Uh, the cost goes to helping develop the app, keep it maintained, uh, hosting costs and all that good stuff. Um, you can unlock uh, some of those shortcuts we talked about previously, actually all these ones at the top here are for premium users only. Um, and then the settings are actually all for premium users. Uh, there's a default state of all these options that uh, can only be changed or used um, if you're a premium member. Uh, so with that out of the way, we can continue on to what these settings actually look like. Um, I think most of these, frankly, are pretty straightforward. Um, one of the most popular ones is the, the buy now delay. Uh, for free users, there's a short delay uh, inputted when you try to buy a card, um, which obviously reduces your chance of winning said card. If you're a premium user, uh, you can untick this box here to remove that delay and have a little bit of a better chance of winning a card. Um, there is very little risk with turning it off. Uh, at time of writing, I've been using this application for at least three years since I made it, and it's always been off for me. Just, just, just kind of a, you know, use that as you will. Uh, there's others, um, cool settings that will help make the uh, short a little bit easier to use. A uh, popular one here is to ignore the back key uh, when there's a search result. Um, so as I'll demonstrate later, uh, if you use short futs for sniping, um, you may get into a rhythm and accidentally back out of a search results page uh, when you could have very well sniped a card. So this setting would uh, definitely help with that. There's some other ones like selecting the most recent card on the list. So if there's multiple cards that pop up on a sniping filter, uh, you may select the one that is listed sooner and less likely to be selected by somebody else. Um, there's great some, there's some, this is a simple one that kind of like shrinks the search results to add more on the page. Uh, that way it's a little bit of a vi better visual indicator for you. Uh, 
for some pricing data settings here um, where you know, all the pricing data will be displayed by default when you, as you scroll through search result pages instead of needing to manually press the button to do it. Um, there's some concept of a quote good deal uh, where we will use the uh, FUT alert data to tell you whether or not a card is a good buy. It's a, it's a very simple, straightforward logic, but it does help for those quick flips. And then there's some stuff um, related to card counter. Uh, this kind of tells you how many cards you've sniped. Um, it's no advantage there. It's really for just for your own benefit. Some people like to keep track of it. It could be some cool data to have. And uh, the last setting here is just about the bronze pack method. Um, when you open packs up on the web app, uh, you get a very long animation. Um, an easy way to skip that animation is by switching to a new tab and switching back. And this setting will have that uh, done automatically for you so you save a little bit of time. So yeah, please uh, install the app, check out the settings, uh, and please feel free to reach out with any questions. Last interesting uh, option on the menu here is uh, to modify the sniping filters. I just wanna quickly go over kind of what this looks like. Uh, the sniping filters are basically 10 slots of uh, presets that you can do uh, for when you're on the transfer market page. Uh, so for example, if I, you know, comment frequently want to snipe, uh, let's see, gold, premier league, and we'll put midfielders that are, you know, less than a thousand coins. That's great. What I can do is set that filter up, go over to the modifying sniping filters, save that filter. And now I could load it from either here or actually as a uh, keyboard shortcut. So we'll go over here, we'll do load, do load sending filter. I already have Z done, so I'll do control, I'll do shift Z actually. We'll save that. And then just to demonstrate, uh, we can do reset to clear all this. And then I will do a shift Z, um, uh, shift Z, yep. And then as you can see, everything gets filled out in the sniping filter. It's just uh, a little nice to have and keep track of those, the sniping filters. So, and again, this is a premium feature only. Uh, so if you're interested in this functionality, you would have to uh, buy some short fuzz premium time. Um, if you're interested in that, I will leave a link uh, in the description as well to my store. Okay, we've looked at the shortcuts and the settings, and the last thing I wanna do is actually demo the app. So we'll do that by trying to snipe a player. So I will press Z to load a sniping filter that I had previously select that I had uh, previously set. Um, I'll come in here, I got a nice warning here just to let me make sure I select this, that's great. Uh, when I was looking at this card before, he was selling for about 19,000. Oh, I actually don't see anybody. Okay, so about 19,000, uh, that, that looks right. So what we'll go ahead and do is we will bring up the tax calculator. Um, I'll keep the, oh, I'll do 19,250 and then maybe we'll do 18,250. Yeah, so obviously this is a extremely low profit, but just for the sake of the demonstration, we'll just try to snipe one for 18,250. Uh, what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna use a few keys and just basically try to snipe. Uh, if we catch one, we catch one. If we don't, we don't. Uh, so there's the shortcuts I'll be using uh, specifically are the search and buy now, the hands-free bin. This is probably the most popular shortcut in the app. Um, it is a premium feature. Uh, what it does is combine the search and the buy now commands. So when I press the number two, um, I will search the transfer market. If there's a result, uh, short Futs will immediately buy that card for me and give me the best chance of winning it. Um, if there's no card, um, that's not a problem. I'm gonna use the uh, D key to go back, back to this page. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the min bin, uh, basically to refresh the search results. And then I will go back to the hands-free bin and search again. Uh, so with just three keys, I could very easily sit here and try to snipe this card. Um, and the, one other thing that might be kind of cool is um, I'll also, I also may have to use this reset min bin uh, shortcut, which will just set this back to zero. And this will get us going again without having to take a break. So three, four keys, and we can uh, easily snipe uh, cards on the web app. So let's just go ahead and give it a try. Okay, right away, got one, um, great. Not super great for my demonstration, so I'm just gonna do this and we'll just list it here. Um, actually, to make that faster for any additional cards we'll win, we'll go ahead in here and we'll set this. Um, 
as a shortcut. So we could quickly uh, list these cards up. Take a okay, so uh, that's, that's listed. We'll keep going. Uh, so let's do one, two, one, two. And basically just go in this manner until we see one pop. We already saw one, which is cool. There you go. There's another one. 17.5, and then because we have the, the list shortcut, we can just hit L here. Um, oh, there was a mistake there. That's probably a typo on my part. Let's check that out really fast. Um, oh yeah, so I put 1900 there instead of 19,000. That was the error, so we'll go here. We'll do L here. And then, yep, here it is. Here's the one I just listed, 18.5, 19. That one sold, that's great. Let's see if we can try to get one more. So we could press Z to reload this filter. Selected. Drop this down to 18.25 again. Okay, and then we can just pick up where we left off. Oh, okay, great, another one. And from here, press L to list it. And yeah, that's basically uh, how the extension works. Um, yeah, so that's a good demo. We've got a couple cards and some very, very little profit. Okay, so that is uh, the short thoughts tutorial. Um, it's been a few years. I get asked almost every single day. Um, this is the video. Um, I'm, I do apologize for the poor quality. Um, I am by no means a content creator, YouTuber, etc. cetera. Um, hopefully it demonstrated the app enough. Um, please feel free to try it, install it. It is free, like I said. You can get a feel for how it works and decide if you wanna uh, keep trying to learn. Um, if you have any other questions, um, the my Discord server is probably the best way to get that, um, to get in touch, and I will have that link in the description um, as well. It, there's a pretty good community there. There's a lot of people that are willing to help um, and helps take off some of the load for me. Uh, so yeah, almost 7,000 people at the time of recording, so please come by if you have any questions or want to know more. Thanks.